In this video, we're going to be looking at how gut health plays a role in hair loss. I'm going to show you the link between the two, then I'm going to show you some foods that you could eat to improve gut health and what foods to avoid. Make sure to stay tuned. Hey guys, Leon here and welcome to the Hair Guard YouTube channel. On this channel, we do tons of science back to YouTube videos all about how you can combat hair loss and regrow healthy hair. If you are new to the channel, do consider subscribing. Let's get into the video on gut health. Poor digestion, upset stomach and other digestive maladies are telltale signs of a poorly functioning gut. But have you ever stopped to consider that your gut's health is impacting more than just your digestion? Well, your gut can tell you a lot about your health in general and it can even lend insight into your hair loss woes. In this video, I'm going to introduce to you the proven link between gut health and hair loss. This will include a look at various scientific studies. Even more importantly, I'm going to show you how to improve the balance within your gut's microbiota so you can experience better health and perhaps even increased hair growth. Let's jump in. So let's first have a quick introduction to the gut's biome. According to Schreiner, Cow and Young, the human microbiome is composed of bacteria, archaea, viruses and euka eukaryotic microbes that reside in and on our bodies. The gut microbiome then is the collection of microbes that exist within the gastrointestinal tract. This includes everything from the mouth and, es and esophagus to the stomach and colon. But what exactly is a healthy biome and how does this contribute to our overall health? In short, a healthy gut biome is one that contains vast quantities of good bacteria, known as probiotics, in order to keep the bad bacteria at bay. When this balance is achieved, it contributes to a functioning metabolic and immune system and protects against harmful pathogens such as viruses and bacteria, including salmonella. However, the benefits of a healthy gut go further than that. One way it does so is by helping to promote hair growth. Just before we go into the video, the Hair Guard team have put together a complete all-in-one hair biotic. Now you only need one capsule per day to get the maximum effective dosage to help regrow healthy hair. Now we only use the highest quality strains available so you can restore gut health, maximize nutrient absorption and soothe inflammation. So if you're interested, I'll link you to that in the description. So how can gut health help promote hair growth? While it may seem far-fetched that changes within the gut can impact your hair, there is proof to show that this is true. Let's take a closer look. The first thing a healthy gut can do is reduce inflammation. Inflammation is a natural process which occurs either in the short term, acute or long term, chronic. Acute cases of inflammation are generally beneficial as they help to protect injured bones and muscles and can attack foreign invaders such as viruses and bacteria. But when the inflammation becomes chronic, whether due to an allergy or an overreactive immune response, this is when it can cause trouble for hair. The hair follicles are affected by inflammation just as any other organ in the body. This means that long-term inflammation of the scalp, which may be caused by sensitivity to DHT, bacteria or fungi or injury, can slow the hair growth process and even lead to hair fall. Fortunately, there are various steps that you can take to correct this problem. You'll first need to identify the cause of inflammation and treat it directly. You can also improve the environment with the help of probiotics which play a major role in gut health. For example, one study found that supplementation with probiotics upregulates levels of the cytokine interleukin-10. This cytokine is an anti-inflammatory, so higher levels throughout the body will reduce inflammation. It has even been shown to suppress pro-inflammatory cytokines. Cytokines aren't the only factor that control inflammation though. A group of specialized cells known as T-cells also plays a role. And probiotics have been shown to play a role in anti-inflammatory T-cell regulation. Also, it strengthens the immune system. Now speaking of T-cells, let's look more closely at the impact that probiotics have on the immune system. The immune system is the body's defense mechanism against viruses, bad bacteria and other invaders. As proven in various studies, the immune system and gut microbiota are inextricably linked. One way the immune system works is by producing a variety of cell types with different functions. T-cells are just one cell type and their function is to target damaged cells before they have had a chance to replicate. According to new research, the gut's microbiota actually help to influence the subset of T-cells found in the body. And on subset, Treg cells play a critical role in hair growth. 
They work by maintaining tolerance to self antigens, which means the immune system will not be prone to attacking your body. This can prevent autoimmune forms of hair loss, such as alopecia areata. Gut health can also support antigen phase. Now, before I highlight the role that gut health plays in hair growth, it's important that you first understand the hair growth process. The process takes place in three stages. We've got antigen, catagen, and telogen phases. The antigen phase is the longest one, as it lasts anywhere from two to six years. The length of the phase will determine the length of the produced hair, but there are many factors that can shorten the phase considerably. One such factor is follicle miniaturization, which is seen in patients with androgenetic alopecia. But what does all this have to do with gut health? It's been shown that probiotics can support antigen phase. This simply means that more follicles are in antigen phase at once and it lasts longer on average. Good gut health can also balance out your hormones. The foods that you eat can have a direct impact on gut health and this will affect hormone levels throughout your body. Hormones are regularly to be substances released by the body to stimulate cells and tissues to act accordingly. These hormones can be seen as either good or bad, but when they work together they create a balance that is necessary. So how does gut health contribute to hormone equilibrium? The right foods, i.e. those that contain good bacteria, can help to balance the gut and increase testosterone. And while you may think an increase in testosterone is bad, after all, testosterone is one component in the production of DHT, it's a necessary hormone in both males and females. However, testosterone isn't the only hormone impacted by a healthy gut. There are many flora that live in the cut gut, including E. coli, B. subtilis, and L. ruteri, can reduce various hormonal shifts. For example, L. ruteri has been shown to upregulate oxytocin, while B. subtilis has been shown to regulate the production of somatostatin, a growth hormone inhibiting hormone. With an abundance of healthy gut bacteria, you can ensure your hormones are functioning at their best. This will have positive impacts on hair growth and other such functions. So now I'm going to share with you the five best probiotic foods that you should include in your diet for a healthy gut. The first one we've got is yogurt. This is perhaps the most well-known option on the list, and it's a food that's commonly eaten, albeit in different ways throughout the world. It can be added to smoothies, soups and dips, or enjoyed on its own with a variety of toppings. And while the versatility of yogurt has made it so popular, its probiotic content has made it a favourite in the health community. Yogurt contains good bacteria, and, and these bacteria produce lactic acid, which is then able to regulate metabolism and promote digestion. Then we've also got kefir. Now kefir is a fermented milk drink with a thinner consistency and tartar taste than yogurt. It's also one of the foods with the highest levels of probiotics and the greatest variety of bacteria types. This makes it better than yogurt in terms of promoting gut health. Aside from its probiotic content, kefir has also been shown to reduce inflammation and stimulate the immune system. We've also got tempeh. Dairy products such as yogurt and kefir aren't the only foods that contain high probiotic content. Take tempeh for example. Tempeh is a soy product which has been cultured and fermented until the soybeans are naturally bound into a cake. It can then be cut into pieces and fried, baked or sautéed to your liking. Soybean tempeh has been shown to induce the growth of these two bacteria. One study performed on rats in 2015 even showed it to increase IgA protein secretion which is an antibody that plays a critical role in immune function. Then we've got kombucha. Kombucha is a fermented black or green tea drink which has gained popularity in recent years. And while it may not be the miracle cure as many people claim, it does contain some beneficial components that contribute to gut health. As with the other foods on this list, kombucha contains good bacteria, uh, and aside from bacteria, it also contains components such as polyphenols and acetic acid. These contribute to detoxification, pH control, and bad microbial growth control. And we've also got cultured vegetables. Now, kimchi uh, uh, and sauerkraut are ethnic foods that are loved or hated due to their strong flavours and somewhat sour taste. But they're both more than just cuisine. While not necessarily high in probiotics themselves, these two foods contain high levels of organic acids. This means they contribute to the growth of good bacteria within the gut. The fact is that even if you eat some of the foods mentioned above, your gut may still struggle to retain the good bacteria. With foods such as kimchi and sauerkraut, you can promote probiotic retention and even stimulate the production of more probiotics throughout the GI tract. Now we're going to also look at prebiotics and show you why you actually need both prebiotics and probiotics. Probiotics are certainly given the attention they deserve on health websites, in research journals and even on television and radio talk shows. But what about prebiotics? Unfortunately, prebiotics are often overlooked source for bacteria regulation and gut health. 
In short, prebiotics are food ingredients that cannot be digested by the human GI tract. They can, however, be digested by probiotics. In essence, prebiotics are a food source for probiotics. Prebiotics provide probiotics with compounds that they need to multiply. This means that prebiotics are used by probiotics and the human body as a result to increase the number of good bacteria found in the gut. And more interestingly, probiotics digest prebiotics in the same way that probiotics are often produced themselves, via fermentation. Now, what all of this means is that you must eat a healthy balance of both pro and prebiotics to maintain a healthy gut. So what type of foods could you eat? Well, you want to look for things like oats, barley, soybeans, beans, tree nuts, onions, leeks, garlic and chicory. And similar to probiotics, prebiotic supplements also do exist. Now what other steps could you take to improve gut health to help regrow healthy hair? The addition of probiotics and prebiotics to your diet contributes significantly to gut health and microbiota balance, but there are other steps that you can take to maintain a healthy balance. The first thing is avoid artificial sweeteners. Artificial sweeteners are in a wide range of foods including soft drinks, chewing gum and mints, candy, condiments and even in some yogurts. They have been shown time and time again to have negative effects on health, but they also contribute to pure, poor gut health. You also want to treat your stress. Now, while stress may seem far from important in terms of gut health, it actually plays a major role. Stress is often a response to physical or mental tension, and it persists too long, it can cause negative impacts on your overall health. It can even contribute to hair loss by reducing oxygen intake and increasing tension on the scalp. Also, you want to improve your sleep quality. Similar to stress, poor sleep quality can increase levels of the stress hormone, uh, epinephrine, and contribute to the spread of bad bacteria throughout the gut. By improving your sleep quality, you decrease both physical and mental stress levels, which will then help to lower inflammation. Now, while things are not always so black and white, there's one sure thing. A poorly functioning gut will lead to a poorly functioning body. This can have far-reaching impacts, and it may even contribute to bad health and hair loss. Of course, that doesn't mean that a healthy balance and balanced gut will solve all of your hair loss problems. But it can play a significant role in decreasing inflammation and creating a healthier scalp environment in which hair can grow. Plus, you'll feel a lot better once you, you're eating the foods that your body craves and providing your gut biome with the balance it so critically needs. This is why we strongly advocate that viewers change their diets to a healthier, more varied one. This includes probiotics and prebiotics, and also alkalization is another thing to consider. So guys, that's what we wanted to share with you today on gut health. Don't forget to click the link in the description where you can have a look at the complete all-in-one hair biotic. Make sure to hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.